Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Tiara. If this is your first time here on my channel, hello. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. This video is going to be kind of different from the other videos I've done. Although I feel like none of my videos have any similarity. They're all just random ass videos. So here's another one. Basically, this video is going to be kind of a story time slash review, if you will. Basically, if you guys have been following me on Instagram, on Snapchat, anything like that, you see that I have been lightening my hair over the course, I want to say over the course of months. I've dyed my hair a lot. So basically, this video is about my dyeing process, the color that I am now, and also about all of the damage that I've done to my curls. And about if we can fix them. I'm gonna open Snapchat so I can let you know like what months I was this color or that color. From the beginning when I started dyeing my hair, I knew that I wanted to be a different color. I knew that I wanted my color to be drastic. So I knew that I was going for like a gray silver color. That's the color that I wanted. But I knew going from black hair to gray hair without spending hundreds of dollars at a salon was going to take a lot of time and a lot of bleach. And when I tell you that it did, it did. Okay, so in September, beginning of September, my hair was just like its natural color. My roots were like the color they are now. And then my hair was brown. I'll insert a clip, I'll insert a video. The first time I bleached my hair was September 24th. I bleached it and it turned into like a, a brown, just like a brown hair color. It was really pretty, it was really nice, but I knew that I still wanted to go lighter. So I did. So I knew that I wanted to go lighter and that I wanted to bleach it again. At this point, my goal was to just be blonde. I wanted to be platinum blonde, just like white, white my hair i wanted it to be white so i bleached it again so on november 14th i bleached my hair again and it came out blonde but it still wasn't the blonde that i wanted but i rocked it for a good minute the blonde that my hair was was very brassy it was very orange and i didn't like it so this is when i started to tone my hair i kind of figured out what toner was which ones to use so later on i then toned my hair but actually, before I even toned my hair, um, I straightened it. I straightened my hair. I'm going to insert some clips there too. So at this point, I had bleached my hair three times, I think. Because the first time I did it, I did it twice in one day. So by this time, it was the third time, I think, that I had bleached my hair. And then I had straightened it. So I had put heat on it. But at this time, my curls were popping. They were so popping after bleaching them three times. My curls looked better than ever i don't know what it was but my curls were just popping it was like the most divine my curls have been in a minute and anybody who knows me knows that i've never worn my hair curly ever i did not like it and then now i was actually starting to love my curls they looked really good and especially they looked really good blonde so it was blonde um for like i think november december ish and for christmas my hair was still the blonde the uh, uh brassy blonde color so in january i toned my hair to take some out of that brassiness which i think still did some damage to my hair because it was starting to look a little less curly there were some straight pieces so that was like the end of january when i toned it and some of those straight pieces starting to occur my curls weren't as tight they were starting to kind of be wavy the curls were still there like if i would scrunch them but you could just tell wet. You could just tell wet that they were kind of mad at me. And I was like, I've been blonde for a little bit. I think I'm ready to finally try my gray. I bleached it again to get it as white as I possibly could before I put the gray in it. I bleached it again. And after that, believe it or not, my curls were still there. But there were pieces of my hair that just, they were dead. Maybe one piece was just like, I'm dead. And everything else was curly. On March 30th, it was getting close to my birthday and I knew that on my birthday, which was April 2nd, that I wanted silver gray hair. So March 30th, I dyed my hair gray. Once I dyed my hair gray, my curls, they were just gone. They were gone. 
gone to the point where it's like it's not worth cutting it off because I feel like I can save it. I haven't worn my hair curly since I've dyed it gray because I just can't. Like it's it's bad. Right after I dyed it, I straighten it and I'll insert that too. Straightening, do I think was a bad idea? Yeah, but I knew I wanted my hair straight for my birthday and I was gonna do it, whatever. I didn't really care. That's where I'm at right now. My hair is pretty much dead. Um, I feel like my curls can be saved if I don't put any heat on it and I just keep it moisturized. I've been like Googling and like YouTubing how to save curls from heat damage, from bleach. Anyway, there's this product that I came across after Googling, after researching like treatments for my hair to bring my curls back. Um, I came across a couple YouTube videos about this product and I decided why not make a YouTube video on myself and see if it actually works and just do a review for you guys. So the product is called the Afro G Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructor. I hope I'm saying that right. I think you can get it at Sally's. Basically the overview is that it's a serious care and protection, adds strength and softness in one step, quick and effective against heat and chemical damage for processed or natural hair. Awesome, so it looks like this is the way to go. It looks like it's very affordable. And it, they carry it at Sally's. So what we're gonna do is head over to Sally's and we're gonna get some of the stuff and then we're gonna use it and let's just see if it works on my hair. So I'll see you guys at Sally's. <laughs> I'm back from Sally's. Um, I got the balanced moisturizer and the two-step protein treatment. So I think this were the two things that I needed to get. So we're just gonna we're just gonna jump right into it. Um, first, we're gonna read the instructions because that's important. So the first thing you want to do is wash your hair. So I'm gonna hop in the shower, wash my hair, and then I'll be back. When I'm out. All right, so I'm out of the shower. As you can see, this is what my hair looks like right now. Um, my curls are a little better than they were at first, but they're not. They're not good. Like this is, I can't work with this. Wash hair, rinse thoroughly, and towel blot dry. So, just gonna towel blot my hair. Add enough to saturate and comb through. So I'm gonna try to comb through my hair without the product first so it will be easier to comb through when I do put it on my hair so I'm just gonna like do a quick run through feels unhealthy is what it feels so babe I want to get my girlfriend's initial reaction too I want to get your review as well so they know that it's being honest so if you come in here for a second this is what it looks like before okay 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 all right what do you what do you think um i think it looks horrible no <laughs> it does the top no, of my hair is no. still really the top nice of her hair, still got it but these things are just like dying and they need to be rejuvenated because i just want to make sure i get enough of everything on here Thank you, so I'm gonna separate it and comb it so I can make sure all of my hair gets product on it. Cause I really want this to work cause I don't have any other. <laughs> you can go now. So let's shake it. Cause they told us to shake it well. Shake, 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 shake it. So I'm just gonna start. Is that what it's supposed to look like? Did I shake it well enough? Okay, I'm just gonna start adding it to my hair anyway. Ew, ew, it doesn't smell good. I don't know, it smells like, like a cologne with feet in it. Like someone made cologne with their feet and a little bit of vinegar. So I'm gonna comb it through. Oh yeah. It's definitely gets harder to comb through as you go. Like quickly too. I hope 
that was enough. Okay, so I'm gonna move over to this portion of my. I probably should have divided this in sections too. It's foaming up. I don't know if it's supposed to do that. I wonder if there's still shampoo in my hair. <laughs> All right, let's comb through. Wow, I can't. Oh my God, guys. I don't think it's supposed to foam. I'm gonna separate this in two because I've made that mistake with the other one. And I need my whole head to be saturated with this stuff because maybe. Cause I really do want to focus it like on the parts. This is really sticky on my face. Gross. I really want to focus on the parts like my ends that really need it. But I want my roots too. Like if it's gonna help, help all over. Medium heat, high airflow. I'm impressed already. I haven't even rinsed it out. I haven't even added the second step. But I'm impressed. Babe! Yes. Come here! Come here! Holy shit. Stinks in here. Yeah, it smells so bad. I'm so sticky. But this is with it in my hair. What do you think so far? Your curls are back. My curls are back. My curls are back. Right? They're back. This shit's amazing. I'm like impressed already and I haven't even rinsed it or did the second step. But it's deep. Yeah. It smells like Look. This is how sticky it is. Fill my hair. Go oh. like this. Feels like a Cheeto. <laughs> We are on to step four, which is re-wet and gently rinse thoroughly with warm water. I'm like disgusting. Look at the back of my neck. Ew. After I rinse my hair with warm water, um, I'm supposed to put this in for two minutes, but I'll probably put it in there for longer than that because I need all the hope I can get. <laughs> put it in my hair. Massage it in my scalp, massage it in my hair. I'm gonna do all the things I need to do while I'm in the shower, and then I'm gonna get out and hopefully these stay like this. And I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna get out and we're gonna see what the end result is. So stay tuned. All right, I am officially out of the shower. Um, let's see what my hair look is looking like. Oh, hell yeah. What do you think? It's back, baby. It's back. My curls are back. I still have a little bit of damage up here in the front, but I think that if I stop dyeing my hair for a while, if I stop putting heat on it for a while, and I just let my hair do its thing, feel it. Feel how soft it is. Wow. It's like a pillow. Yes. Okay, so if you can't see a difference between my hair now and my hair when I got out of the shower the first time, go get your eyes checked, bitch, because you're blind. This shit works. 
you guys i am really shook like i like i did not expect my curls to come back like this oh O M J, y'all don't understand right now. I stand, y'all. I fucking stand. I can't stop. My curls worked on. Now they're back. FOG. I really hope I'm saying that right. FOG. Serious care and protection. Go get it. If you if you are suffering and you're scared and you think you need to do a big chop because your hair is basically dead, you fried it because of heat damage or color damage, give this a try. Give it a try before you cut your hair because you may not need to cut your hair. You may can save it like I just saved mine. Y'all witnessed me save my hair. 10 out of 10, go get this shit because it fucking works. In total, I spent $12.97. dollars $12, I spent $13 on a brand new head of hair. Like, y'all, it's so soft. I was going to put oil in my hair because I didn't think it was going to be soft. I thought that I was going to have to add some oil. To when I saw the videos of the girls and their hair came back like this, I was like, oh, my God, I'm about to spend, like, $50 on this. I thought I was going to spend, like, $50 on it, but I spent $13 in my my curls are back i can't believe it you're scared you think you have to cut your hair out because of the damage girl you don't get this shit they're so soft and fluffy thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this little journey with me i hope you got to see or benefit some from this video that i just did if you try it leave me a comment let me know how it works out for you if you're stressing out about your hair, just stop, give it a try, like this video, subscribe, have a good day. Peace out, y'all.